Hey, nice to see you here. Happy Tuesday. Um, this is actually not gonna lie, the second take for this video, I think in all the times ever, I had to stop because the phone started ringing, so I had to pick it up. So as promised, I don't have any footage from the uh, storage auction today, but we've got two things to talk about today. Uh, first thing, Remember that guy that tried selling me counterfeit tickets to Justin Timberlake? Well, that jerk got arrested, and I'm so glad that he did. Um, unfortunately, he got ripped. He um, ripped some people off. You know, he succeeded in selling his crappily made fake tickets. Um, so it all came out in the news. I'm gonna post a, a link to the story down below so you can check it out. Um, but he got arrested after. Well, the whole story was just a couple days after the Justin Timberlake concert, uh, Bruno Mars was in town. Unfortunately, I couldn't go because I was working, but he, Bruno Mars still came. Even though I couldn't go, he still was like, whatever, I'm still going to do the show. So Bruno Mars was in town, and a girl bought tickets, met the guy at the mall, same mall that I met him at, uh, and bought these tickets. Uh, little did she know that they were fake, um, and found out when she got to the, the arena that she had fake tickets. Um, but luckily for her, she actually took pictures of the guy without him knowing with her phone, uh, went to the police and the police said, actually, this guy was just arrested a couple days ago for selling Justin Timberlake tickets. So dumbass got arrested once for selling fake tickets to a concert, then tried doing it again for another concert just a couple days later. So that dumbass has gotten arrested now twice. So I, I I'm... I kind of wish I did something about it when I first approached him, like when I was there, I wanted to just take those tickets, those fake tickets, and just run. I, I just wanted to be like, peace, but I, I didn't do it, because you don't know if someone's, you know, has a weapon, or if someone's got a gun or a knife, so I wasn't going to risk my life just to stop this dumbass from ripping someone else off. But that still happened, and this poor girl, I think she's only 16 or 17, uh, couldn't spot the fakes and that that's what tipped me off is when I looked at them I could tell that the, the font was wrong the back of the tickets were obviously a scanned picture and weren't legit so I could tell just by looking at them that they weren't real and unfortunately this girl was either gullible enough to believe they were real or just didn't know the signs and what to look for that she got ripped off and that sucks so check out the, the link below uh, you can watch that story but not until I finish this story um, I went to the storage auction today, the storage unit auction. There was five rooms up for auction. Uh, at each one got bigger and bigger as we went through. <clears throat> the first one, the first unit went for just ten dollars. These two girls bought it. But the only thing in it was like a dresser, um, uh, like a baby rocker, and like a pile of baby diapers. All the diapers were new, well, not new, but they were unused. So they got all those. I can't who knows what else was in it. Uh, the second unit had um, lots, of, lot, blah, 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 lots of upholstery fabric, like for reupholstering uh, furniture and chairs. That only went for like 80 bucks. So if someone knows someone that buys upholstery fabric and stuff like that, they'll, they'll probably make out pretty good. Uh, the next room had like some smelly mattresses and stuff like that. Uh, I don't remember how much that went for. Uh, the fourth room had... I think went for 170 and it was full to the roof with furniture, lots of wooden furniture. Um, I think it had some tools all the way in the back. I know there was a big air compressor in there, so that person's going to make out pretty good. And then the last room was huge. I mean, it was probably the size, think of like your living room and kitchen and dining room, a room that big, if not bigger, uh, filled with stuff. And what it was, it was... The, the storage place had just taken any leftover stuff that was left behind or units that didn't get auctioned off. They took all the stuff and just put it in this room. And everything had price tags on it because they said they also did a tag sale there uh, once in a while. But they, they, you couldn't buy stuff individually. You had to buy the entire room, which would have been great. I probably would have done it had I, you know, had I, if I was more active in flea markets and I set up tables and stuff at a flea market, I would have done that easily because there was tons of good stuff in there, uh, but no one bought it because you had to take the entire room, every single thing you had to take. And I mean, there was furniture, there was DVDs, there was bikes, there was toys, there was books, 
anything you can think of was probably in there. So no one bought it because no one... No! It froze again! What is going on with my camera? There's something wrong with this memory card. So I'm going to end it now because this is go to. So we'll see how that goes. So see you later. I'm sorry this video is screwing up. What is going on with this card? I think it needs to be formatted. So... Uh...